Nerve agents are some of the most dangerous chemical weapons humans face right now, and new technology built in Austin may be able to warn people worldwide about the presence and source of nerve agents. If that's not enough to wrap your head around, these researchers tell KXN's Alyssa Gord all it takes is a smartphone, a lamp, and some Lego blocks. So it's just uh, resting the cell phone up here on this little platform. Some grown-up scientists are playing with Legos. Legos, the pieces, they just come apart and get back on whenever you need them. So Legos are lightweight, easy to move. They're now part of technology to detect chemical weapons that can't be seen or smelled. Because, uh, you know, a nerve agent is very toxic and it's very difficult to detect. Here's how it'd work. A scientist, first responder, or forensic analyst takes a swab from a suspected victim. They add a chemical that makes the nerve agent light up under a UV lamp. The phone takes a picture that runs through their computer program, analyzing what is there and how much. Previously, equipment to do this cost around $30,000. This rig should cost under 300 bucks if you already have a smartphone. Because there, there have been in the news two recent instances. Nerve agents are believed to be behind an attack this year on a former Russian agent and his daughter, as well as the assassination last year of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's half-brother. So both of those agents should be detectable by these methods. The researchers want this technology in public hands as soon as possible. They think it will be needed on the front lines of chemical warfare. It's our hope that uh, this serves kind of an, uh, an example and we can play more with Legos and try to solve problems. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. The next step is for researchers to develop their computer program into an app. Then they want to distribute the software, which makes the nerve agents visible with a glow. With that technology in place, they say people anywhere can do the same kind of testing as long as they have Legos. Alyssa's story reminded us of another way Austin and Travis County are preparing to keep you safe. Austin is one of four Texas cities to have the federal government's early warning system to detect a bioterrorist attack. KXA and Sally Hernandez has an update on BioWatch. When I first brought you that in-depth look at the BioWatch program last year, the Department of Homeland Security didn't know if it was going to continue this year because of budget cuts. It takes over half a million dollars just to keep it running in this city. So I checked for you today, and I found out BioWatch is still operating in Austin, and here is how it works. Sensors are strategically placed in the Austin and Travis County area. You may see them at sporting events or large gatherings. It works like a vacuum that sucks in air samples with special filters, tested every single day at a secret Austin lab. And if something is detected, there is an action plan that includes local first responders and the FBI. Details of that plan, like some other details of the BioWatch program, remain top secret. I checked again. But I did find out the local action plan includes getting every person in this community life-saving antibiotics within hours if a bioterrorist attack should happen. In the studio, Sally Hernandez, KXAN News.